Welcome back to Giovanna Designs. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today is going to be all about varnishing. Um, how I finished my paintings and um, how they look when they're done and the process for them and all that good stuff. Now there are a million different ways to apply a varnish to a canvas. <laughs> there really are. And everybody has their own way. This is just my way. This is just the way I do it. This is not something that I'm saying you need to do. Um, I will explain the other ways too so that uh, you can get a good idea as to what you would prefer. But this is just the one that I found to be the easiest with the nicest results. Um, I've had, I've tried others and I've had problems with some others. So um, this is my method. So first things first, um, we are going to be doing these beauties today and they came out so gorgeous. I wanted to show you. This is the final result for this one. Let me back up so you can see a little bit better. Isn't she pretty? I already have one coat on her already, so I keep saying her. <laughs> I can't help it. I have one coat on this one already, and she's sold. I'm going to say she. She is sold, so she is off to Alaska, which is kind of cool. And then this one is my wave for my Uncle Brian and Aunt Diane, and this one's going to Pennsylvania. So they are both being packed up tomorrow and being shipped out. So let's get going. All right, so the first things first, I use the Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. Um, there are a million different varnishes out there. This is the one that I really like. Um, I find that it gives the nicest finish that the kind of, I can't even say the nicest finish, the kind of finish that I like. Okay, so now, you know, there's spray varnishes, um, there's gloss varnishes versus high gloss varnishes. There's all different brands. You kind of have to play around and see what you like. They will give you a different effect. Some will show you more of the um, texture of the canvas and some won't, they'll be smoother. Um, now, again, that's a personal preference. I kind of like to see the canvas on certain works. On certain works, I like them smoother. And I think that's more um, just an artistic preference, really. I think some of them look better when they have that canvas feel to them, you know? And then some look, you want that to be more like a resin. Um, now, why would you use a varnish instead of a resin? Varnish is going to give you more of that canvas feel. It's going to look more like a painted picture versus a uh, like a glissé print. I don't know if you know those, but um, yeah, they're more glossy and glass-like and they're gorgeous, just different. They're both really pretty, just different. <laughs> so it really depends on what you're going for there. I haven't tried out resin yet. I'm going to. So um, I apply mine with my handy dandy four inch brush. Um, this was a Liquitex brush that um, I got for painting. And, you know, I just, I love it. It's super soft and super flexible and just gives, it, it doesn't leave any stroke marks or, you know, streaks or anything like that. You can use, um, a lot of people do use the, uh, the sponge brushes. I found those to be a problem for me. Again, for me. I don't want to say it's for everybody. This is my thing. I didn't like them. Um, I found that they left little itty bitty, you know, um, particles on the canvas and that drove me a little nuts to be honest with you because I might want white to be white. I don't want little itty bitty fibers of anything on there. And so, uh, yeah, I stopped using that immediately. That was, that was gone. And I bought the really, really high quality ones too. So it wasn't, you know, I didn't like, cheap out on the brushes and that's what happened. So I don't know, maybe I wasn't doing it right or the other way that other people are doing it. I'm not sure, but yeah, that was a bad experience for me. And so I switched. Um, I also tried the, uh, what's it called? T-shirt method. You know, so some people tear up an old T-shirt because it's nice, soft cotton, and they apply it with the T-shirt. I didn't like that one either. I felt that that came across too thin, and then um, you have to do several coats, and I just feel like two is quite enough. You know, two is an adequate amount for me, and so I thought that you know, kind of doing four coats was just a waste of time. Um, and I feel like a lot of the product does get soaked up in the cotton. So there's that you can put it in a plastic baggie and, you know, get rid of all the air out of it and save it that way. So that that's a way to do that. If you like, you can also uh, just pour the product directly on the canvas and tilt around, you know, and tilt the whole thing off. Now I do believe that you can probably get away with one coat when you do it that way, because you're getting a much thicker coat on the first coat. Um, but again, I felt like a lot of product poured off the canvas and was sort of wasting product. And this sucker is not, you know, inexpensive. So you want to use the least amount you can to get your effect that you want to get. Okay. So the other thing is a torch. Um, you may or may not need it. 
You know, there aren't always bubbles on the canvas, um, but you want to get rid of them if they're there for sure. You do not want bubbles on your, on your varnish. So, um, yeah. You may or may not need that to do that. Sometimes I find that there's just no bubbles. Sometimes there's a ton of bubbles. Oh, let me tell you this one. Don't shake this. Don't ever shake this. It's not paint. It hasn't settled. It doesn't need to be shaken. It is a complete product that is completely viscous within itself. Doesn't need to be shaken. You shake it up, you're going to get a trillion bubbles and you're going to drive yourself nuts trying to pop them because they keep coming up and keep coming up and keep coming up. And then you're ending up with little pinholes where you're varnish didn't stick because that was where the bubble was and just, just don't do it um okay so i'm going to put, move the camera down and we can get going on this and we're back okay so i hope that this gives you a much better view i tried to get the camera to go straight above me since i'm not going to be blowing the paint around my head's not going to block you because if it was a regular pour and i you know stuck my head right here you wouldn't see anything so this is why i don't do this normally but for something like this it's perfect okay so what I do, I don't know if you noticed, I had two bottles on the table earlier. I take the big giant bottle of varnish and I put it in my little smaller bottle of varnish. This is just the first one I bought. So I had the little bottle. I just find that it's easier to uh, manipulate with the little bottle and move it around. So I think that that's easier. Okay, so what you want to do is do two coats in opposite directions. So if the first coat you're going in this direction across the canvas, the next coat, you're going to be going this way. Now, if that's hard to do, just turn your canvas and go this way, the opposite way. If you're gonna do a third, go back and do it the opposite way. You will get the best coverage um, that way and you will get the most consistent coverage without showing any streaks that way. So it's really a good method. Um, and don't forget your sides. You definitely want to, when your brush is wet, take your brush and go over the sides. Okay, so let's get going on this. Now I have already done my first coat this direction. So I'm going to turn my canvas now and go in the opposite direction. First and foremost, make sure your canvas is sparkling clean, like eat off the floor clean, like anything you could possibly imagine clean. <laughs> so take a particle free, um, take a dust free cloth and, make, and even wet it just a little bit and just wipe it right over your canvas to make sure there's nothing there because do not want to trap anything in your varnish because you'll never get rid of it. Okay, so Smaller canvases like this are really easy to do because they're small. If you're gonna be doing a big giant canvas, you wanna do it in sections. What you do not wanna do is hatch work. You don't wanna go over your canvas like this. You wanna go over in clean, consistent strokes ever so lightly. I mean like feather light going across this thing and do it in a couple of coats and that's where you get um, some clean, consistent lines. So I'll show you what I mean by sectioning. Okay, so what you want to do is pour a little bit on the edge of the canvas and wet your brush or your sponge or whatever you're using into the varnish. Then go from the corner and you see how my brush is over the edge here because you want to make sure that that edge is completely covered and then very gently go across and as you go across you're going to get thinner at the end. That's okay because you're going to get that on the second wound. Okay, so now I wanna go over it again because there's a lot of varnish on that first layer and come back through on the second. Put a lot more here. Now, if you're going to put a lot down on the first, uh, the first pour right up here against this edge, you probably will not need a second over here. You might. If you do, then you can just take another uh, squirt of your varnish as I did before and put it right in the middle or right up against this edge. But make sure that you're always going in the same direction and it's nice and smooth. Now, my brush is loaded up with varnish. I wanna go and hit my sides. Okay, just take your brush and go in up and down motions across the side. Make sure that you have a very good light source so that you know that you've covered it really well and that your brush is still wet after one side. Now, if it isn't, you can just put a little bead a varnish actually on the brush itself and hit the sides that way. As with the regular painting, you wanna make sure that you don't have any drips on the bottom of the painting. And I know that this has got enough on it. And also in a level three, you wanna hit those corners because those are the ones that have, you know, that cut edge on them that I would talk about all the time, <laughs> where they cut the canvas and I don't know why they do that and it makes me a little crazy. But you wanna make sure that you varnish those two to seal them in. 
Okay, now I've got my good layer on and I've got a whole bunch of bubbles. So I'm gonna take my torch, unlock my torch, yeah. Take your torch and quickly and very, very quickly go over and hit those bubbles. You don't want to heat up your varnish too much. You're not trying to dry it. You're just trying to kill those bubbles. So super fast when you go over this. And you'll see them all dissipate. Okay, now wait three hours at the very minimum in between coats. Now that I did this coat, if I wanted to do a third, which I won't, this has got a good layer on it, it's got a good coverage, then I'll go in this direction again, okay? So let's do another one. Let me put this over to the side here. Okay. Okay, let's grab this one. Now last time I went this way, this time my coat is gonna go this way. Same as before. Put a nice, heavy layer good squirt of varnish on the edge. Make sure my brush is really nice and wet and go all the way across over the edge. You don't also want to go over too many times. You see, I'm just going over a few times to make sure that it's nice and even and I hit any spots that I could have potentially missed last time. You always wanna make sure that you've covered everything but you don't want to overwork it. Because if you overwork it, it says on the bottle, I've never had this happen, but it says on the bottle that it can get cloudy on you and you want this crystal clear. So just go back over your sides again. And also what this will do if you're going over the sides afterwards is to catch any of the drips that have now come down from going over the top. I want to make sure you don't have those on the bottom anyway. And we are good to go. Okay. Grab my torch again and hit those bubbles. I usually find that you get more bubbles on the second layer for some reason. Don't know why, but this just happens this way. And they're gone. Poof. Magic. <laughs> and that's it. You're done. It's pretty straightforward. Um, just be careful of those few things that I mentioned. Don't overwork it. Don't go crisscross. Go in the same direction. What first coat, opposite direction, the second coat. Hit your sides and you'll be good to go. All right. Thank you so much for joining me again today. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Night. <laughs>